Hello, in this video we're going to look at setting up a messenger bot using ManyChat. We're using the free version of ManyChat and this will allow us to start to build a subscriber list which we can market to in the same way as we do via email. So the first thing to do is to set up a test Facebook page. The reason why I suggest that we do this is because we need to connect the bot to a Facebook post and it's uh, probably a good idea to do it on a test page so uh, that you're not going to confuse uh, people who are following you on your uh, business page. Uh, also, you could, uh, as an alternative, if you've got an old page that you no longer use and doesn't get any visitors, you could use that. Um, but but get, a, get a page that you can use to, to test on, uh, be it a, a new test page or an old page, and then create a post. Now, we're going to, as part of this uh, tutorial, we're going to create a coupon code which will go to people when they respond with the word coupon and that the flow will be we make a post they respond with coupon we say do you want to receive a coupon they say yes please and then we send them a coupon code and we'll also then give them a link so that they can go and spend their coupon code immediately in the store so to do that we need to attach that bot to a message uh, to a Facebook post so we need to create that post while well, saying that this is just for demonstration purposes we don't need to go to town with good graphics and all that sort of thing we just need to get the basics down so I've got would you like to treat dad this year just comment coupon below and our coffee bot will send you your coupon keep an eye on messenger your coupon will be with you shortly so there's a couple of significant things here first of all we uh, we're telling people that they've got to use the word coupon in order to receive the coupon and the reason why I've uh, opted to do this because that we could just say respond with anything below is I think it's quite nice we give them sort of like the special code word to use it's you know a bit like a password uh, it helps to build a little bit of a community uh, spirit just makes it a little bit different perhaps I refer to it as being our coffee bot, so I, um, I'm giving an identity to this bot. I'm not pretending it's me messaging everyone back. Uh, I make it quite clear that it, it's a, a bot that I'm using and that uh, I'm giving my bot um, a, sort of like a, a name coffee bot, so it's going to start to get its own identity and that it will become sort of like part of part of my brand ultimately. And I've also said, uh, keep an eye on Messenger, your coupon will be with you shortly. And you'll see in a minute why it's so important that I explicitly mention that I will be using uh, Messenger to send them this, uh, this coupon. The other thing that I've done is I have uh, scheduled this post to go live for um, a couple of hours from now. The reason why I've done that, even though this is an old Facebook page which I no longer use and, and you know, gets like one person visit every 12 months or something, uh, I still don't want to risk having a, a live post uh, which refers to a coupon that I'm actually not ready to deliver yet just in case someone does happen to visit this page. So set up, uh, so a couple of action points, set up a, a test page if you don't have an old page to use, write a, uh, a post explaining uh, what it is you're offering, how somebody is going to uh, opt in or how they're going to receive the coupon, be explicit they're going to uh, receive this via messenger and then schedule this for a couple of hours from now and then go back to when you're in ManyChat, the first thing to do is to connect ManyChat to your Facebook page. So uh, if you click uh, here uh, on the left hand side, add a new page. If you click on add a new page, it will ask you if you want to connect your page to ManyChat. Just approve that and then your page will be, uh, will, will be connected. I'll show you how we do that here just quickly. So add a new page. You just choose which page you want to add, add your um, uh, add many chat to and it will connect it, uh, connect your page and many chat together. There's a number of things down on the left hand side here. This is uh, the different options that we have, but we won't look into these in too much detail today because we're just starting out. We're obviously not going to have an audience yet and there's nothing, happen for, nothing happening for us to look on the dashboard. We're going to go straight to growth tools. And these are the tools that, that we have and that we can use to help us build our subscriber list to our bot. 
So click on new bot uh, tool and we have a range of different things. These here, uh, these are widgets that we can apply to our website uh, so we can actually get people to interact with us via messenger on our website. These are things that we can actually embed into our uh, website pages and then these are growth tools that we can use on Facebook. I'm going to use Facebook comments for this particular promotion so we'll just click here and uh, I didn't give it a name but I'm going to give it a name now and I'm going to call this uh, test bot coupon and the next thing that we must do is select a post to attach this bot to so select a post and you will see it gives you the uh, options it will look at posts that are, are available so I'm going to select this one which is the one that we just looked at and you're going to see why it is so important that we are explicit that people are going to be contacted by a messenger and it's because uh, we need to tick a box here that says I confirm that the selected post is explicit that this page is going to contact users who comment via messenger so I said to people you're going to keep a look on keep a look at messenger because you'll be getting your coupon code that way so I have been explicit there and then we've got a couple of other options here. So we can choose whether or not we want to track first level comments only or all comments. By that, they mean if you have uh, somebody said, yes, I want a coupon, please. And then they tag a friend. So uh, they say, yes, I want a coupon code. Hey, friend, do you also want a coupon code? Check this out. And the friend comments on, on the previous comment and says, oh, yes, thank you for that. Yes, I want a coupon too. I'm going to say that I want, regardless of whether or not someone comments directly to me or whether or not they comment to another comment, I don't know if this is making sense, uh, then I want everybody who comments with the word coupon to receive a coupon code. If I just wanted it for people who responded directly to me and didn't respond to other comments on the post, then I could switch it so it was first level comments only. We can say when we want to send a message, so we can send it immediately or after a few seconds or after um, minutes. So I'm just going to change it to a couple of seconds. The reason why you do that, um, it's it's entirely up to you. But uh, if if it, a, a, if a, a, if a bot responds too quickly. It makes it very obvious that it's automated and that it's a bot, but also that people perhaps aren't quite sort of prepared that they're not. I've said keep a lookout on um, uh, on uh, Messenger. So you, you want it to give them a couple of seconds to actually prepare themselves and get themselves so that they're ready and receptive to receive this 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 message. We can say we can exclude comments. So I could actually set this up and I could say... Uh, uh, I send this coupon code to uh, everybody except people who have responded maybe with a negative keyword like no or no nope or no thank you or something or we can do the reverse which is what I'm doing here and it's only trigger for comments with these uh, keywords so I'm coupon and coupons in plural uh, just in case and you perhaps you could put in sort of, if there are any common spelling errors that people might use or, or variations add them here now you don't need to do this you can actually respond to absolutely everybody who who comments but one of the downsides there is you might get some smart Alec who comments and says no I don't want to receive a coupon code and then they get a coupon code um, so that, that's sort of a bit negative and uh, sort of like will risk perhaps irritating people but another thing as I mentioned earlier I think one of the good things about sort of giving a, a password that people can use is, is sort of like a bit of a club it's like a special a special word it, it just makes it things a little bit more uh, well special a little bit different and I think it helps to build a, a bit of an atmosphere uh, around your uh, your bots and I think that bots are something that really should be fun and should be should have a personality of their own and I think that it should be something that uh, is a bit more interesting than, than just an automated way of getting information in front of people so I think the, the more 
a sort of fun that we can make it and the more of a personality that we can give it then the, the more effective this is going to be as a marketing tool i think people from a marketing perspective bots are great because it's a great way to get information in front of people uh, from a personal perspective bots can be quite negative because people generally use messenger for personal things uh, for chatting with their friends and their family and then they don't want to be bombarded with sales messages so therefore making it sort of fun and friendly and and giving it a real sort of like personality i think is really really important so that's why i quite like using uh, sort of like these special words to get people to opt in so next Next, we have got uh, the first message that we are going to send to people. Now, you'll notice here that there's something that's quite important here. And it's people who comment on your post will become your subscribers on Messenger only after they reply to this message. When they do it, you can send them an opt-in message. So we don't want to give them the coupon code here because if we do they won't be a subscriber to our list so what we'll do here is we will just confirm that they want to receive the coupon code so hey full name uh can i send you uh your coupon code now and uh, we will then just click on next and then for everybody who replies I'm going to save this now okay to everyone who replies we're going to give them the coupon code so we're going to edit, edit this message uh, thank you for subscribing here is your coupon code And you'll see there's a PS here. If you ever want to unsubscribe, just type stop. Always leave this message on your bots. And I actually go one step further and that I will uh, actually put this on to any new messages that I send people because I think that people are, uh, have more confidence if they know they can opt out of something really easily rather than thinking that they're going to be bombarded with messages from you so like from here to eternity. So I uh, just uh, make sure that we include this on here. So we've got uh, people who have commented with coupon. We've said, can I send you the coupon now? They've said, yes, please. We then say, here's your coupon code. We can now take this uh, one step further and actually take them through to our store. So let's uh, go down here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a short delay of two or three seconds. And this will show uh, typing. It will show the typing message. So here's my delay. I'm going to change this to two seconds and it's going to show typing during the delay so again it helps to give the illusion that this is uh, you know that this this bot is, is is working and gives people the opportunity to to digest the first message we're not just sending things at them all the time and then i'm going to click on text because we'll add some text here and we'll say um great um here's the link to my shop hope you enjoy uh, browsing I think we'd probably think of something that's a little bit more dynamic in that uh, if this was a, a real thing and now I'm going to add button so when someone clicks on this button I want it to take them to my website so when they click on the button it's going to open this website and just add in a website address and we're just going to leave this as it is at the moment okay so oops and give that uh, a name so uh, when they that button would be uh, go to shop done okay so now uh, we've got the message with coupon code um, great here's a link to my shop go to shop and we're just going to leave that as it is for now. Tomorrow, we're going to dig into this uh, a little bit deeper because we can also then add 
more interaction uh, with the uh, with the people. We can ask them questions. We can go to different places in our store, and also that we can add them to different. Uh, diff we can put tags on them that that will say what action they've taken in this bot, and that we can add them to um, sequences so we can actually follow up with them later. But for now. So have a go at doing something like this and have a look and see what it looks like. So let's have a look and see what it looks like. Uh, I'm going to click on preview and uh, it has said that it has sent it to Messenger. So let's open Messenger. So let's uh, have a look in Messenger and here is the, uh, here is the, the, the message that we've just uh, created and then this will take people uh, to the shop. So have a go at creating uh, something similar, or, uh, make a button, um, make, a, uh, make a basic bot, and then, as I said, tomorrow that we'll look at building in some more interaction into this bot and taking it a little bit further. If you've got any questions, uh, pop it in the group, and if you want someone to test your bot for you, just put the post uh, into the group as well, and then we can test it for you and, and see how it looks. Okay, thank you.